Hey everybody, I hope you're having a nice week so far. Originally I had planned to make a guide for Helldivers this week, but I was presented with an obstacle, one of which I am sure many of us have had this week. The dreaded login screen of Eternity. While the devs of Helldivers are suffering from success, I had to spend my time doing something else, and I realized I had spent a lot of time in Darktide over the past few months, and I put a lot of other games aside. Games that I enjoyed playing but didn't really get a chance to spend too much time in. So today, I thought it would be a fun idea to talk about those games and why I enjoy them so much. I figure if I can't give you all a guide on a game that I really want to play, maybe I can guide you to other games that you might enjoy while waiting. Now obviously, these are games that I like playing either on my own or with a couple of friends. I am sure you all have your own tastes, but these games are some of my favorites to kill time in, and I would really love to hear what you all enjoy playing in your spare time. Now, a game that I used to love playing has been on my mind a lot lately. It tends to be a lonely game as I'm sure the player base has dwindled quite a bit, but I'm a sucker for all things dealing with space and simulators, so I loved my time in Elite Dangerous. Now with that being said, I enjoyed the small marvels that you can do in this game, such as landing on a random moon on any system that you come across, and I enjoyed looking for obscurities and anomalies in space, such as pulsars, which in fact are a really terrifying reality to our own knowledge of what a pulsar really is, and the occasional black hole that always ceases to amaze me every time I approach it. These are just some of the reasons I love Elite, but I love the sense of discovery, and the unknown. Now I'd still consider myself a beginner in this game, but I'm always eager to learn more and understand the possibilities of engaging different jobs across the universe. Besides that space sim, another game I tend to play at least once a week with a good friend of mine is Hunt Showdown. This has been a game that I've sunk over a thousand hours into over the past few years, and that's solely because I enjoy its replayability when it comes to the type of game it is. Hunt Showdown, for those that don't know, is a very niche game. Not many people would like it, but for those that do, they love it. Its setting takes place in 1895, and it explores a very western vibe, spanning across three separate locations, all with several compounds that entice player versus environment play, but also player versus player. The thing that brings me back to this game each week is that it's an extraction shooter with a lot of focus on being a bounty hunter. See, you can enter a match and hunt for people, or you can hunt for the bounty, that being a random monster that's the boss of the entire match. If you come across the boss and you banish it, you'll receive a token that essentially allows you to see any hunters that are creeping into your compound, and it gives you an upper edge because you can see them before they see you. Now before it sounds like someone has wall hacks, I'll start by saying it is, but it's limited. When you're the bounty holder, you can see through walls and targets that are painted orange, but this is only available to you for a few seconds. And it isn't as glorified as it may sound, see, picking up the bounty has a downside too. You're no longer invisible on the map to anyone left in the game. Every time you open the map, hunters around you can now track you down because you have a little lightning icon striking down the bounty's last known position. And if they use their sight, they can see the physical manifestation of lightning, telling them where you actually are. The reason I love this game is for the gunfights that you can have. I rarely have a gunfight in the same exact location, ending in the same exact way. There are always different choices to play and a plethora of weapons and tactics to choose from. And honestly, I enjoy the spooky atmosphere mixed in with the western vibe. Being able to be a cowboy hunting down other cowboys while fighting a giant butcher or a bug crawling assassin is something that I don't take for granted when playing this game. It's unique and special and that's why I enjoy it so much. Now it might seem like first person shooters are generally all I play, but I do enjoy the occasional card game, especially the deck building roguelike kind. Slay the Spire has been a game that I've loved for years and I play pretty often whenever I have long road trips or fly somewhere with the wife. Having spent a lot of time with this game, I tend to enjoy playing the daily climb as it's randomized every single day. This is like my version of Wordle. Every day, a new randomized experience is made and the layout is completely different from the previous day. But the nice part is that you can make mistakes and you can retry until you win. This makes learning the game a lot more fun and grants you opportunities to learn how to adapt on a whim. The start of a normal game has you choosing between a few different classes, all with different strengths and weaknesses, and your objective is very simple. Create a deck that allows you to beat each of the act bosses and then finish the game. Overall, a very simple and enjoyable game loop, and each game can play up to around an hour once you figure out how to play with a majority of the cards. I grew up playing Pokemon, MLB Showdown, and a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I enjoy card games that have a lot of thought within their game's dynamics while also making a diverse trade-off in the stakes. Slay the Spire creates that dynamic extremely well by adding relics, random rooms, difficulty modifiers, and new cards as you play. Not to mention that this is a game that my wife likes to play too. We get to share time strategizing moves, and we comment over each other's way of playing. All in all, it's a great time. 
Another game that I absolutely love but I've been putting off is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I made a video on this game last year, and it has been a game I put a few hours into almost every month. I enjoy having a small goal to work towards, and this game breaks that down quite easily. I've definitely thought about this game more than I get to play it, and that's solely because I really want to dedicate some time to playing around with the mods that the community has provided. I love to immerse myself whenever I'm playing a game, so having no HUD, no ammo count, and no direction all play into the role of having a soldier behind enemy lines. I like adapting to my surroundings, and I thought about creating a small series, just planning ways to infiltrate and take out threats while my mission carries out. And I still might do that, especially since I found a perfect mod to pair with it recently, but if you're interested in that at all, I don't want to spoil too much. Just let me know in the comments below if that's something that might interest you. But Ghost Recon Breakpoint creates an open world tactical experience unlike other games that I've played. A lot of my friends aren't really around and work real jobs, so I have to play games usually solo or wait for them to find a time to chill with me. Breakpoint thankfully has a number of ways to play, whether that's alone or with a squad of AI teammates that they provide you. I tend to play solo a majority of the time, now that I know the game's mechanics, but going in solo has such a unique feeling that no other game has provided me with in a while. Infiltrating enemy lines and taking the time to plan out an attack without being seen has been a great way of spending my time in this world, truly playing into the role of a ghost. The sheer variety of ways to take on just about any threat this game pushes your way is always exciting and nerve-wracking, but it's extremely rewarded to be presented with a number of challenges while playing as you will almost need to always adapt on the fly and either escape or control the environment. I guess my real answer for why I wanted to make this video was to share with you all some of my taste in games and also to show you that you can have fun in a number of different ways. This is only a small handful of games that I actually play, especially when I can't get on a game that I want to very badly, but that being said, I love a lot of different games, and I try to spend time exploring different digital worlds whenever I can get the chance. My question to all of you is what games do you enjoy spending time in, and what do you like most about those games? I look forward to hearing what you all have to say about your favorite games in the comments section below. Anyways, I'm gonna go jump back into the long queue, but until next time, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Have fun everyone.